hello and welcome to, I guess, another top tip of Tinkercad. So we're going to look at um, making notes and how we can show them and hide them in Tinkercad. This is really good if you're working on a project that you're submitting or if you um, are wanting to go back to a project that you've uh, done before. So first thing is, if I want to make a note um, over on the right hand side where you can get your different shapes, and uh, different blocks, you've got your work plane um, tool, your ruler tool, and the last one, um, big kind of speech bubble, is your notes. Now you see I've already made some, but if I click that, I then all of a sudden on my cursor have this floating um, speech bubble with a plus on it. And if I put it onto my object, my little person here, you can see it actually moves around with the plane, so I can change the direction of it. So if I want to go to the back of my object, um, let's go here. I want to say at the back, and then if I, oh, sorry, yep, I can drag it over, move around, put it on the back, and I might want to say, um, add a cape, and then click anywhere or press, uh, click anywhere. If you press enter, it will go to a new um, line. But yes, if you click anywhere, it will then leave that there. If you want to minimize it, just press the minus button, and there you go. Now, these other ones, if I click on that, it will then show me need to add a hat um, and this one is just um, a bunch of gibberish so yeah really easy way to do that what you can also do is then if you are happy with that and you want to keep working I want to add more things but I don't want these notes in the way because they're getting kind of cluttered I can go up to the top bar and I can click this um, speech mark speech bubble that has an eye in it and as you can see there's a little shortcut as well so if I click that it disappear if you click it again, it will appear. Again, we can also use a Shift N. So if you Shift N to disappear, and Shift N again, they reappear. Same for if I want to make a note, I can just click, uh, press N on the keyboard, and there you go, and then will pop up. And I can put it anywhere I want. If I zoomed in, you can see that actually it goes to any direction I want. So if I want to go here and say, add three fingers. I can add um, some more details if I wanted to, uh, color blue, long fingernails. <clears throat> now this is especially good if you are maybe using it um, not for just designing but if you want to have a model of the solar system you could have a note on each planet so you can see um, what each of the planets are, maybe some facts about them you can add in. So you can actually have it as a little kind of project. And it's just a really good way to kind of add a new kind of dimension to how you can use Tinkercad. So yeah, remember all you need to do is you can click N, go to the side, click on the speech bubble, drag it over, and then let it go, and that'll do it. And you can move it around as well if you want. So if I click and drag, it'll move around to wherever I want. I can even just do it on the work plane here and uh, make a note whatever I want. If I want to delete it, uh, all I have to do is, is click on the bin and it will delete. And if I don't want to see them, I can either click here the visibility button or I can do shift N and it'll all go away. And that's all for today. That's how we make notes and make them invisible. Till next time. Bye.